helping make rough days a little better. Eskenazi Health's canine therapy garden provides both patients and staff a reprieve from being inside the hospital all day. This morning, WRTV's Nico Panisi shows us how Eskenazi's pet therapy program is impacting lives. Sally here is one of 23 volunteers at Eskenazi Health's pet therapy program. Staff here says human-animal interactions can greatly benefit a patient's recovery process. This golden doodle specialty Lay down. is putting a smile on people's faces. Yeah. Noblesville resident Gary Webster and his wife have been bringing Sally to volunteer for the past six years. The reactions of the patients to her, uh, sometimes they don't even have to touch her or say anything. You can just tell the, they look at her and smile. She's outgoing, playful, and friendly. She loves to chase a ball and is even known to steal a treat now and again. We include dogs into specific goals for our patients. So it could be PT, OT, speech therapy, um, mental health groups. Sometimes we have puppy day out here. So for the staff, that's it can just be a little stress relief. Pet therapy manager Shelly Fisher says animals can motivate and bring peace to people in times where humans can't. The Lisa K. Humkey Canine Therapy Garden, which opened during the pandemic, provides a space at Eskenazi for play and training. Interactions are normally scheduled in the space for individuals or groups, depending on how many dogs are available and the needs of the patients. Imagine if a patient's in the hospital for even a week to be able to come outside still doing their therapy, but also having a dog engaged with them is a lot of fun for them. That's true for patient Amelbus Bias. Oh, I'm a paraplegic now, I wasn't planning on this. He's been in recovery at Eskenazi for a little over a month and says going to the garden brings a little joy to his day. It feels great, you know, some fresh air and you like you see all that. I'm not stuck in my stuffy room all day, you know. And patients and staff can request a visit from a therapy dog at any time they're in the building. And Eskenazi is always looking for more pets and owners to volunteer. We'll have more info on how you can lend a helping paw on our website, WRTV.com. Oh, I love that story, Nico. And it's so hard, you know, when you're in the hospital for anything, just because it's kind of sterile in there. And right. You know, you're not outside. So this is a beautiful place to get outside. Well, it seemed like the folks who were in the therapy garden when I was there, they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. They were smiling. I mean, it brought a lot of joy to their day. And you know, being bound in a wheelchair and, and having to deal with pain and recovery is, you know, not the best. It's not the most ideal situation. So yeah. glad and that that's bringing them some And we joy. know people's pets at home are such a big part of their family. So you say you can bring your own pets sometimes to the Yes, garden. that's okay. also part of the garden. Actually, there's an area where, you know, sometimes when folks are about to pass, you know, the, they want to say goodbye to their, their yeah. pets. It's a part of their family. So they're able to do that there in the uh, garden. Oh, I love that. Well, Nico, thank you for that story. Very sweet this morning.